Hewlett-Packard Enterprise is playing an ever-increasing role in the deployment of next-generation communications networks, and heading up the company's communications technology group as general manager is Tom Craig, who took on the role in October last year. So, Tom, great to talk to you today. Uh, now, you're bringing plenty of industry experience to your role at HPE. Uh, can you tell us a bit about your background and your previous roles in the telecom sector? Sure, Ray. Um, so, yeah, joined the company all, all but three months ago, so now a veteran, but I have been well, in excess of 31 years in the telecommunications industry. So uh, started off in BT Global Services, uh, joined as a graduate and then was on the board of BT Global Services. Um, and that was a journey over 18 years looking at, you know, pretty much everything from product management, sales, marketing, strategy, acquisitions. Following BT, I moved on to Vodafone and it was a privilege to steward and run the uh, worldwide B2B business for Vodafone across its operating company footprint. Uh, and following which the last seven years, I spent a lot of time dealing with operators uh, through my own company, which I set up uh, across Middle East, Asia, pretty much everywhere in the world, looking at transformation uh, in telecoms, uh, applying a lot of the knowledge from BT and Vodafone. And then latterly, complete the journey and have joined, uh, delighted to join HPE. Okay, excellent. So a lot of great industry experience there. Uh, so what attracted you to Hewlett Packard Enterprise? What made you want to take on this role? I think uh, at its most, it's a complex answer. It was a lot of consideration, but in the end, I think um, when I think on way, the way the industry is going and the challenges facing it, I think the fact that it is such a rich heritage in IT has 30 years of kind of deep experience in, in networking, you know, from its whole heritage and richness in operations support systems from carriers all over the world. And then the last thing was when I read the kind of and tried to get my head around the edge to cloud strategy of HP, I kind of thought it's absolutely all the time for the telecommunications sector when you consider that everything that HP is standing to drive into the sector is delivered as a service on a consumption basis. Knowing some of the challenges of the sector, I really feel it's the fit for purpose and the right strategy at the right time. Okay, excellent. Um, so these challenges, I mean, what are the challenges facing the, the telco industry that you see now? Yeah, I mean, I think that we have a very short discussion today. and. You know, when you answer the question, the challenges it could be, uh, I mean, that could be a very long discussion in its own right. But I think at, at its most simple level, I think that you have um, a challenge into kind of finding new sources of revenue generation for the industry in terms of headline growth. I think there are significant challenges against uh, investment to fund the future of the industry because most operators are faced with servicing significant investment needs to service the past at the same time as servicing you know incredible transformation to service the future of 5g virtualized telco cloud and various other initiatives um, i think there's a need to massively drive down cost to serve of customers given the financial pressures on a lot of the the sector um, and that we need to find ways to really try and go to zero touch operations or much lesser touch operations to significantly take out cost to serve from the industry. Um, and also, I think there's a need to respond to experiences of a lot of competition that have been born first generation digital that have set an expectation with customers of instant delivery, instant gratification, customization. This has kind of been coming from a lot of the digital natives, but at the same time, in response, um, the telecoms industry is still faced with long time to market for new offers and solutions. Uh, and if you, if you hold up the mirror of standard delivery lead times on most offers in the consumer and business segments, you know, there's, there's a long way to go. Yeah, absolutely. And we hear these things from operators all the time and they're addressing them. And how can HPE help network operators to actually address these challenges? I think um, the first thing would be almost in response to what I said at the start, what attracted me to the organization. I think that 
in many cases, we can help telecoms operators take new innovations, new services to market without having to jump over the huge capex hurdle. And we're doing that with operators today. You know, we're helping Japanese operators launch new MVNOs on a completely consumption-based service, broadcast initiatives in Spain in the telecom sector on a consumption-based service. So I think that that's kind of point one we can help with. Um, Point two, I think that in this whole move towards zero touch cost operations or zero touch, lesser touch operations, then I think we, from our heritage and kind of operation support systems in assurance and also network automation, workflow automation, orchestration, I think we can do a lot uh, in bringing technologies together that will massively streamline and automate the workflow for businesses and help them respond to the customer expectation and also the digital native challengers. Um, I think there is also, in terms of new services to market, I think both in the 5G space, where we're doing a lot on open architectures for public 5G, helping drive choice into industry, where there's maybe been a sense of constriction. And likewise, I think we have some very innovative new solutions in the private 5G space that open up new monetizable opportunities for a lot of the operators. Um, likewise, I think with our Aruba capability, bringing a whole new set of solutions that the telecoms businesses can take through to their end customers. So I think there's a breadth of, of areas we have to help respond to some quite significant challenges that face industry today. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a lot of key topics and trends covered there. So a lot going on already. Uh, but what comes next? How do you see the telecom sector developing? That's an excellent question, Ray. My response is that the what comes next is actually delivering against the existing challenges we already know. You know, moving towards zero touch customer service through automation is going to be a multi year journey. The cloudification of the carrier infrastructure is a multi-year journey. Exploiting the opportunities that are going to come up rapidly in edge computing, leveraging telco infrastructure, you know, is hugely exciting. And also, I think maybe we haven't touched on too much, but you know, at, at HPE, we've invested now a few years down the line in looking at solutions to monetize and exploit the opportunities in private 5G. Uh, which we think are going to open up some really interesting new opportunities within the sector. So there's lots to come and I'm sure there's not going to be a dull moment. Yeah, absolutely. And there, there really is never a dull moment in the telecom sector these days. Uh, Tom, great to hear about your role at HPE and how much experience you're bringing to the company. Uh, fantastic to talk to you today. Thanks very much. Thanks, Ray.